Welcome back internet family, Dan here from dancetube.tv and today we have a bit of a different video. I'm going to be telling you guys how to be confident in front of the camera and I've got 10 easy steps that are very easy for anyone to follow and I guarantee you will feel a lot more confident in front of the camera after following these steps. And you may be wondering if you're new to the channel, why would I trust this guy? You know, what's, what's his credentials on this? Well, I've been doing videos on YouTube for 10 years now talking to the camera and I know all of those anxieties that you guys would be going through. What does my voice sound like? La 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 la. Do I look good on camera? What are people going to say about me? You know, all of these things are anxieties that we have, but I promise you, firstly, you don't have to worry about that. And secondly, it will get easier with time. So the first step that you need to think about is fleshing out the video concept. Now this is so important because it will actually immediately build your confidence. It will give you an idea of what the video is actually going to be about and you can flesh out some points around the concept of the video and what you're going to be talking about. So I really like to write it down sometimes. I'm now at that point where I'm a little bit more confident so sometimes I'll just go with it. But if you start writing it down, that is the first and the easiest step to do. The second step that will really help build your confidence after you have actually written down the concept and you've got an idea of what you're gonna talk about, manifest that idea. So I like to do it when I go to bed, I've written down the concept, I then kind of manifest it in my mind and I think about what I'm actually gonna be saying and how I can kind of frame it in a way that will make sense for my audience and will also feel authentic and genuine to me. So that's something that I normally do at night before I go to bed and then I kind of wake up with a bit more of a fresher mindset to then think about it again. The third point is gonna be very dependent on when you actually wanna film your videos. So for me, I like to film it in the morning or kind of in the afternoon, I guess. I don't normally film at night, but some people out there who have full-time jobs or you know even wanna do it on the weekend, they might do it at night or at completely different times throughout the day. So for me, I like to wake up and have a really good routine. So whether that's going to the gym or eating well or even just fasting, whatever your routine is, start with a routine so you're basically setting yourself up for success. So if you go to the gym, that will release a lot of endorphins. If you go for a walk, it will set you up ready for your video and you'll feel a lot more confident when you're talking to the camera. So for step four, we'll basically just be diving a little bit deeper into what I just said. And that's about setting up yourself for success, setting a good routine, whether that's going for a walk, having a good feast or seeing a really good friend who energizes you, whatever that may be, figure out what works for you. So set a good routine and then have something that will potentially really lift your spirits and build your confidence. So like I said, the gym really releases a lot of endorphins. Going for a walk releases a lot of endorphins. Seeing a really good friend could even energize you to the point that you're ready to attack that video. So step five now, after you've set your intentions, you've built a little bit of your confidence and you're ready to shoot. You're ready to think about what you're gonna do and kind of just go with it in the moment. So before you get into that moment, it's really important to take a step back and just take some deep breaths. So don't think about what you're gonna do. You've already done all that planning. So now it's the idea of actually taking some intentional deep breaths and being present in the moment. So step six now is a really important one. We're gonna be revisiting the work that you did either the night before or through the day. So you've written down potentially some of the concepts for the video. You may have just manifested them and kind of kept them in your mind or just written them in your phone. Like however your process works for you, you do that. And then from there, we've done a lot of work on reframing the mind to be successful. So we've done all of these deep breathing exercises, we've gone for a walk, whatever you guys have done, that's really important work. And now we need to read over those points again and get ready to jump into the video. And now with all of these processes, we've now built up a concept of the video and we're ready to go with a lot more confidence. Step seven now is a bit of a basic one you would think, but a lot of people don't do this you actually need to look into the lens of the camera. Right now I've got a screen off to the side and it's so easy for people to look at that screen because they wanna see if they're in frame or see what the footage looks like. That's such an easy thing to do, just looking at that screen. But you need to make sure you look into the souls of your audience. You need to actually, not the souls on their feet, I'm talking about the actual camera lens. Look into that lens like it's their eyes. That is so fundamental. People can lose interest if they don't feel like you're actually talking to them. So make sure you're looking deep into that camera lens. So step eight is something that might take a little bit of time to really feel confident doing. And this is actually being passionate and authentic when you're talking to the camera. 
So this is something that you'll kind of build up over time. You may jump in and be really confident talking to an inanimate object, which I guess, you know, I talk to pillows and, and chairs all the time, so it's, it's fine for me. It's something that I, I'm kind of used to when it, I took that transition to a camera. But for you guys, it might be a bit of an unusual thing to talk passionately and authentically and try to connect with someone that you can't actually see. So that's something that will take a bit of time, but the most fundamental advice that I can give you guys is be authentic. Make sure that you're genuine and authentic to the camera or to the people that you're trying to connect with. So step nine is, if I can get my finger down, a really, really important one. A lot of people think they have to record it all in one go. Now that can be really stressful and you're gonna be doing a lot of takes to get the right shot. But even just in this video, we've done 10 different points and I've recorded it individually. So I've done one point, then I've looked down at my notes, then I've done another point, then I've looked down. Now this pacing can actually really help you get your thoughts back together together, together, and be in the moment. Because it is so important to make sure that you're authentic and comfortable and come across like you're feeling comfortable on camera because it can be quite anxiety provoking and you can kind of jump ahead of yourself or talk maybe too quick or even miss a point potentially. So make sure that you take your time and don't forget that you can just do it in steps. You don't have to do it all in one take. Now the final step, step 10, this may sound like a really obvious one, it may sound really easy, but just have fun while you're doing it. When you're having fun, it will come across like you're passionate and authentic in what you're talking about. If you're too robotic, if you're too organized, it will come across like you're not having fun and you probably won't be having fun because you're overthinking it too much. So remember that is crucial to ensure that you come across authentic and genuine. Just have fun with it, guys. Dude, stop, stop, stop. This is, this is beyond fun, you need to chill. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I really hope that you gained something from this. If you have any steps that I've missed, any tips, anything that really works for you, I'd love to know in the comments below. If there was anything that really stood out from this video as well, definitely let me know in the comments below. I know it's so challenging to start out and it really is a foreign concept. So I'd love to know your process in starting out and I will have a lot more videos like this coming in the future. So make sure to tickle that like button and come back for some more interesting concepts on DanceTube.